Begin here at 5 o'clock with education news. Faculty and community members coming together at a college board meeting this week in Bakersfield claiming that students of color are being targeted at Bakersfield College by an on-campus group. 17's Michaela Armstrong has more. I did not feel safe in that room. I was silenced. I was ignored. I was unwanted. Something needs to be done. This was the experience of Bakersfield College student Jordan Davis, who told the Kern County Community District Board what it was like attending an Equal Opportunity and Diversity Advisory Committee meeting. The committee meeting included a racial task force that looked into results that show Bakersfield College students of color are more likely to experience racial microaggressions and physical and verbal attacks. Many came to the board on behalf of those students asking trustees to address the racism on campus and even terminate professors who have made it unsafe for students of color, particularly the removal of professors who founded the group Renegade Institute for Liberty. The group has had campus controversy over its advocacy of free speech, considered by others as hate speech, and dealings with other groups on campus, including Bakersfield College English professor Dr. Paula Parks, the founder of the group Moja, a program designed to increase the success and retention of African American students students, telling the board that her students have been targeted from the group, claiming the targeting was merely free speech. However, Park says free speech is not hate speech. Free speech has to be something that you have a reasonable belief is true, but they are saying things that they know are lies, and they're trying to incite anger and create an unsafe environment, and my students deserve to have a safe, supportive environment in which to learn. Creating tension on campus, making it more difficult for her students. And to process that, to try to understand it, and to articulate it, and then at some point move to advocating for themselves. So that's been a difficult process for the students, and that's, that's a lot to do if you're 30, 40, 50, but imagine being 20. The Parks hopes this will bring all groups on campus together for a common goal. I think it's really important that the students in the LGBTQ population and all the students of color come together and not wait until their group is attacked. Because what threatens one of us threatens all of us. Michaela Armstrong, 17 News. And a footnote here, we reached out to multiple faculty members of the Renegade Institute for Liberty beginning early this morning via phone and by email for comment, and we did not hear back from them as of news time tonight.